Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Midanveed Singh, an emergency medicine specialist here in the UK. So let's get straight into this with the monkeypox virus key facts. The monkeypox virus is a member of the orthopox virus genus in the family Poxviridae. It is a viral zoonotic disease, meaning it originates from animals. And the area that it typically originates from is from the tropical rainforest in Central and West Africa. And occasionally it is exported to other regions because of its transmissibility. It typically presents with a fever, rash, swollen lymph nodes, and the swollen lymph nodes is what separates it from the smallpox virus. And a whole host of other medical complications can occur as a result of this condition. Now normally monkeypox is self-limiting which means your body eradicates it itself. While it's self-limiting, the symptoms can normally last between two to four weeks. Yes, it's self-limiting, but severe cases can occur. World Health Organization has reported that the case rate fatality is somewhere between three to 6%, meaning between three to 6% of people who get the monkeypox virus will unfortunately pass away from the disease. So monkeypox virus is transmitted to humans through close contact with infected animals or other infected human beings. And it doesn't just have to be the human or the virus that is contaminated. It can be other things that have been in contact with those two things. So normally it's close contact with the lesions, body fluids, respiratory droplets, and contaminated materials such as clothing and bedding. The clinical presentation, meaning those symptoms that you have are very similar to smallpox. And this is what has a lot of people scared. Smallpox was eradicated in 1980. Monkeypox is less contagious than smallpox. It also causes a lesser severity of an infection. Vaccines used during the smallpox eradication can also be used for the monkeypox virus because of the similarities. It can provide up to 85% protection against the monkeypox virus. Newer vaccines have been developed since then and one of them has been approved for monkeypox virus as stated by the WHO, the World Health Organization. An antiviral agent which has also been licensed for the use against monkeypox virus is also available. For those of you that want to hang around for the rest of the video to know more information, then let's get into that. If you have monkeypox virus, you should be isolated you should get yourself tested through a PCR test. So you should notify your local health authorities and also you should prevent yourself from coming into contact with others until you are free of symptoms and cleared of the disease. Otherwise you could be passing it around and infecting others. The most important thing after isolation is making sure you treat yourself and alleviate the symptoms. So for pain, take painkillers. For hydration, you need to make sure you drink plenty of fluids and also make sure you keep on top of your diet for nutrition. All these things will help fight infection. Any potential bacterial infections you may get should be seen by a specialist and they will then designate any further treatment. For example, if there are super added bacterial infections, you will be given antibiotics. An antiviral agent known as Tecomiravat has been licensed, but this will be after you have been assessed by a medical health professional who will then decide whether that treatment is applicable for yourself. This drug was developed for smallpox and has been licensed by the European Medical Association for monkeypox in 2022. And this was based after doing animal as well as human studies. The original vaccine for smallpox is no longer widely available and the newer vaccine that was developed is based on the modified attenuated vaccinia virus, also known as the Ankara strain. This was approved for the prevention of monkeypox back in 2019. This is a two dose vaccine, but its availability remains very limited worldwide. The infection can be divided into two periods. The first one is known as the invasion period and the second one is known as the skin eruption phase. The invasion period can last up to five days. This is characterized by fever, an intense headache, and lymph node swelling. You can also get back pain, muscle pain, and an intense lack of energy. The lymph node swelling is a key feature of monkeypox, which separates it from the other pox viruses, which cause smallpox, chickenpox, and measles. The second phase, which is the eruption phase, normally begins with one to almost three days of having a fever. The rash tends to be concentrated around the face in 95% of the cases, and the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet in 75% of the cases. It can also be seen in 30% of the cases on the genitalia and 20% on the conjunctiva, which is the whites of the eye. It can also be seen on the cornea, which is the clear part of the eye. So the rash 
normally evolves from being flat to something called a papule which is slightly raised to pustules which are lesions which are fluid filled and then they crust over and just fall off. Now the lesions can vary from just a few to several thousand. In the most severe cases these lesions can all consolidate together until the skin just falls off itself and then the healing takes place from underneath in the deeper layers of the skin. Now monkeypox is normally self-limiting which means that your body will eradicate it itself. Symptoms normally last from two to four weeks and the more severe cases are actually among younger children and those that are immunocompromised. Now some of the complications that can occur from monkeypox are secondary infections such as chest infections known as pneumonia, sepsis, encephalitis which is an infection to do with the brain, infections of the eye, of the cornea which can cause visual loss. So remember to follow your local policies, the local advice being given by your health authorities, by your doctors and by the government. If you notice this rash on yourself, follow the guidelines isolate yourself and if you get worsening of symptoms you need to make sure you contact the relevant emergency services so that you can be evaluated and also not put others at risk and therefore the right specialist people can then make the diagnosis. As you can see from this table there's only between one to five cases in countries such as Australia, Belgium, Canada, France, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands. There's a slightly higher number of cases up to about 30 in countries such as Portugal, Spain and here the United Kingdom. In total as of May 21st we have 92 cases and from countries where the monkeypox is endemic the majority of cases actually lie within the Democratic Republic of Congo where there are 1238 cases. Those figures are up till the 1st of May 2022. People shouldn't panic, follow your local health authorities advice, follow your local government's advice. I hope this video was informative, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember pass this on and share it amongst your friends and family and other colleagues. This information is correct as per WHO World Health Organization as well as the CDC. So remember stay safe and I'll catch you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.